What's up YouTube? It's your girl Ty and welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be a lock update video. It's been a minute since I've done like an actual sit down and talk about my locks video. And so yeah, that's what this is going to be. It's also going to be a takedown because as you guys can see, I have some two strand twists in my hair. And this is actually the first time that um, I did two strand twists on my hair. It's only been in for maybe I'd say like two days. Um, and I just wanted it just to, you know, just do it real quick and then um, take them out. So I wasn't gonna like wear it, you know, like this for too long because I really wanted that crinkly look. Since my locks have grown a lot, I'm just like, it's time for me to see how they look crinkly. So I am really excited about that. And so as I take them down, I'm gonna just talk to you guys about how my lock journey has been over these past i think it's been a year in like eight months or nine months a year and nine months if if that's not correct or if it is i'll go ahead and put it at the bottom but um so i'm just gonna be using this is the only thing new that i've started using on my hair which is this castor oil it's, um it's a organic golden castor oil Everything else that I use is literally from the lock update video that I did um, maybe about a year or so ago. I'll link that somewhere up there so you guys can see that. I just wanna oil my scalp a little bit and then talk to you guys. My lock journey has honestly been really amazing. I, as you all know, I started my lock. <laughs> As you all know, I started my locks on one to two inch short hair. And this is the growth that I have, um, you know, from the time frame of starting my locks. And I just, I just love my locks. They are just like everything. And they literally suit my minimalist lifestyle. Yo. My locks have basically, they aren't, all the same size, which I don't know if anyone's locks are, and maybe they are, but my locks, they're not all the same size. And so some of them are like super skinny and some of them are kind of chunky, but I really don't mind it. You can't really tell, but what you can tell is that my hair grows in layers. So it makes like half of my hair look a little like it's kind of a little straggly, but it's really not. It's just that my hair just grows in layers. So the bottom just appears to be longer, you know, than the front because it grows in layers. So that's the one thing that I've always known about my hair, but it's really apparent with my locks. So like my top locks are like, you know, super short, but the bottom locks, um, they're, they're a pretty decent length. Um, but it doesn't bother me at all. What I can say is, if you guys are gonna start on really, really short hair like I did, and you're gonna maintain your own hair, just be careful when you are retwisting your hair because I noticed that I was actually splitting some of them without realizing that I was splitting some of them. You want to definitely make sure that you're being careful about that. Um, because what happened was since I split some of them unknowingly, it created some, it has some of them looking really, really skinny. And then the ones in my, the front of my hair had actually got way too skinny to where I needed to combine them because once my hair got long enough, I started wearing my hair up and, you know, and ponytails and all these different styles. And it took a toll on some of the locks on my left hand side, which is like this row right here. But to start off with, I, these locks were only two locks. So I had split them again, just unknowingly when I was retwisting my hair, when they were coming out and things like that. So that's something that I can say to really be careful with um, if you're starting your locks on like really, really short hair. That I thought, I just kept thinking like, oh my, what if my locks aren't gonna come out right because they're short, so you really don't know what they're gonna come out like once they start growing. But it's really, 
it really is rewarding um, to start that short and then to just, you know, see where you are a couple years later, it's, it's amazing. I waited until my locks were really, really mature before I decided to start getting any styles. So that's definitely a tip that I have for you all. Just wait, like, trust me, the style is gonna be rewarding. Like, but don't do it before your locks are mature. Your hair is short and you're thinking about, oh, you know, how often should you retwist with your hair being super short? I know like the first three months or so, I retwisted every month. And after maybe like, I'm washing dishes y'all. I mean, I'm washing clothes y'all. So y'all probably gonna hear. <laughs> but after like the fourth month, that's when I started retwisting every two to three months. And now I legit only retwist every three months. So like this is my first retwist in three months. One, I just love my hair without a retwist. I just love the styles that I'm able to accomplish. Um, when my roots are, you know, a little loose, I love, you know, a slick back ponytail. Um, so I, you know, I tend to wait that three month period. I can't wait to see how this turns out. Oh my goodness. Um, another tip. If wet your hair because i know everyone's always like oh you know how often should i wet my hair especially with it being short i wet my hair all the time like even when i wasn't like actually washing my hair i still was wetting my hair um it may have had an effect on you know some of my locks coming out or whatever the case might be at the time but some of my locks were already going to come out regardless because my hair was just way too short for um for the area like the back of my locks i was not able to actually get locks in the back of my hair until maybe like two months into me actually being locked so like the back of my hair just kept coming out it was not staying at all so if you're if you're noticing that your locks are not um you know they're coming out a lot it's okay just keep retwisting it you know, just keep forming the lock. It will eventually lock once your hair gets a little bit longer. No, so you guys don't have to stress about that. What else can I talk about? Locks honestly have changed the game for me as far as like, because I used to be someone that just changed my hair all the time. Like always wanted to straighten up my hair you know i always you know try to dye my hair my hair does not do well with dye so i will not be dying i will never dye my locks <laughs> um unless i'm putting like a black you know hair dye in it or something like that but actual bleach that's a dub uh, my hair just doesn't like it so if you are going to start your locks on really really short hair i just suggest that you go ahead and um you go ahead and color your hair first and then start your locks or wait until you know you're at least like a year 0.5 into your lock journey to go ahead and dye your hair um i know some people probably dye their hair a little bit sooner th than that but you know to each its own you know if if it comes a time in your journey that you feel you might have to combine some locks that is absolutely okay y'all do not feel, you know, any type of way about having to combine your locks or anything. Uh, yep, go ahead and just be quiet for the rest of the video. To finish taking these out. See you guys in a second.
this is my hair. Ah! <laughs> Ooh. Hold on, not the middle part. <laughs> not the middle part. Y'all. Honestly, like, wow. I cannot believe this is my hair. If you thinking about locking your hair, lock your hair, okay? <laughs> lock your hair. Do not wait, cause do y'all see this? Wow, I'm still like blown away that this is my hair. for my first twist out ever on locks. And shoot, it might for real be ever too, cause I feel like with loose natural hair, they have never come and came out this good. That's it for watching this video. I will see you in my next video again, y'all. I don't know when I'm doing another lock update video. I, you know, maybe when my hair gets about here, like maybe when it's touching here, I can, right? I'm just gonna go keep feeling myself because if I stay in this camera, y'all, the video won't ever end. But I am loving this.